what's up guys, it's here, and here we are live with the man himself, Niren Yusufu. I just thought name you because okay. I thought that makes you special. I feel special. like we're on there first name basis, I don't f I, you don't have to give me the surname as well if you don't want. If you're feeling lazy then you can, you can I mean, just say Niren, it's calm, I don't mind. But you, you see, it's, such it's an got a good flow to it, hasn't it? All right, okay, cool. I'll allow it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for having me on the channel, sir. You may know him because he's actually uh, more famous than me. <laughs> you. Yeah, me. I was four, I was forty thousand subs bigger than him. It's now February. I don't even want to know how, how many subscribers you have <laughs> I don't, now, bro. I don't, know, I don't know what the difference is. Basically, I'm just, I'm, but this is the thing. I'm just a real life football merchant now. Merchant. You've just got to, you've just got to squeeze okay. the life out of something, and you'll be blessed. That sounds like what my dad said to me about <laughs> masturbation when I was younger. If that's your way of doing it, Liam, it, was an, it then wasn't a good time. Debate to your heart's content. Anyway, um, we're here to talk about football. Um, so, guys, a few a, a few weeks ago, I did a video titled "Which Football Team Reps Every Area in UK." So, but then we did Manchester, Liverpool, um, Sheffield, South Coast, a few things like that. Now, I said that I'd be doing a part two, and I said that it'd come in the next day. Two weeks later, here we are. So we got Niren here because this is this is yeah, why it took so long because Niren, I've been waiting for the one day yeah, no, that it he's was here. My fault. It was my fault. It was uh, black timing, so I was just late. That's that's the reason why. <laughs> that's pretty much. Yeah, I was just. He's running. L Liam was in fairness to him two weeks ago. He's running off yeah, Nigerian exactly. Lagos. Yeah, exactly. He was like, "Oh, do you want to record this video?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll be there in ten minutes." And I only just arrived. So we've got a few more areas here, um, which I've told Niren some of them. This is more of a you know your first kind of go into because I don't want to go into too much detail because. Otherwise, it'd be like a half an hour long video. So, we've got London, South West, South East, Bristol, Glasgow, Edinburgh, Lancashire, Yorkshire, East Midlands, and Black Country. Now, we may do, um, you know, Manchester and Liverpool because I want the other side of it yeah. as well. I think they're quite interesting. But um, these, are the ones that we, these are the ones that we missed out last time. So, if you do enjoy, smash that button. Also, subscribe if you're new. And also, make sure to go as well, subscribe to Niren. Okay, so let's begin with a big one here because I think this will start some um, interesting debate. And one which everyone was begging me to do in the first one. So, first one is London. Is it blue, red, or debatably amber? Up the barnet. The mom the barnet, honestly. Um, it's white and red. For Brentford, because that's the closest club to where I was born. <laughs> Thank you very I was much. thinking, oh. Brentford FC, big ups, Ollie Watkins. It's undisputed. It's red or blue. It's, so it's, it's red or Arsenal, blue, Chelsea. It, Spurs, Bun Spurs can't be put it. Nobody put, put, cares about Spurs. Spurs but, has won one trophy since 2000. That's a League Cup. The problem... The, and if, let's not count the Audi Cup in this. Yeah, yeah, I'm not counting the Audi yeah, Cup. Yeah, no. No okay. pre-season. But then we can't count the Emirates Cup. For the very same reason. And also, I, I don't want to count the, the Community Shield. Even though it is a trophy, it's not really right, a major okay. trophy. So for this, really, the main trophies is like FA Cup, First Division trophies, and the European Cups. And that's really it, really. I guess League Cups as well, but mainly it's European Cups, Premier League, and FA Cups. That's the main thing, I'm yeah. Not, uh, right, i tell you what. The problem, the problem that I have, right, for me personally, is I don't know much about football, like, in terms of who's won things. I know who was, like, big teams and stuff, but, like, amount, like exact amounts of trophies... From before the uh, 90s. I mean, I've got, I've got them all in. So, I've got them. I've got them you, all Have you got that? Okay, cool. Because I would say straight off the bat, I would say in England, I would say Arsenal because I think they've won more trophies than Chelsea. But then Most equally, definitely. Chelsea have won a Champions League. But I don't know whether Arsenal have won like a European uh, um, Cup Winners Cup or anything. They won a UEFA Cup Champions Cup, which is basically European okay. League. Basically, so they have won. Oh. So in Europe, Arsenal's won one UEFA Cup, and Chelsea they've won. Two European leagues, two UEFA Cups, and one Champions League. So they won five European trophies that Arsenal's won. So in terms of Europe, Chelsea. Chelsea's by far yeah. the dominant team. Honours in, in in England: eight FA Cups for Chelsea compared to Arsenal's thirteen, and six Premier Leagues compared to Arsenal's thirteen. And if we're, if we count the League Cups, Chelsea beats them in the League Cup. So you know that means yeah. a lot, boys. I'm on the Carabao. Um, I'm on the Carabao. Oh, man, I, uh, that's that's difficult just purely because. Like you could say, it's half an hour. I, I, I would, I would say straight off about Arsenal, but obviously then, so London is red. But then obviously Chelsea fans can very easily and very rightfully be like, yeah, but we've won five times the European trophy. I mean, that this, this, it depends on what means more to you. What means more to you? Having more honors in your country or Europe? Obviously, because for me, I think the most impressive thing to do is. Europe? Yeah. But then you've got to factor in that four of those trophies from Chelsea are, in essence, Europa Leagues. Yeah, it is. Four of those trophies are Europa Leagues, in theory, mm. for Chelsea. 
But Arsenal's got the Invincible as well. Oh, God, They've been so unbeaten difficult. one season. Queen's Park Rangers. No, that's it. Because, <laughs> listen... No, even better. No, I, I want to no, hear this. Even, no, I tell you what, even better, Crystal Palace. Because they're red and blue, all right? And then, therefore, we can split, we can share the love and say Arsenal red and Chelsea blue merging together to make another London club in Crystal Palace. Bang. Solved it. Like a Sudoku. <laughs> is, that, is that not what I meant to do? Is that not how this works? Or... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you smashed it, mate. You smashed Skets it. Yeah. Oh, it's just Kevin red, isn't it? It just is. Everyone stop. Everyone <laughs> just... Listen, Chelsea fans, just accept it, all right? You wouldn't... The Roman Abramovich came in. You wouldn't even have that Champions League if it wasn't for him. I'm going to say... Okay. Arsenal's red. No, Arsenal's red. Arsenal is red, to be fair. London is red. Arsenal, Arsenal is Arsenal, red. You have got that right, man, concern. Arsenal are red, but London is red as a whole. But... I think red and blue, Palace is a good shout. Let's up. Let's go with... Let's get your opinion on Manchester. Now, I really hope you don't say what I think you're going to say. But is Manchester red or blue? It's red. For Salford City. Salford City are the biggest club oh in Manchester. God. But in theory, Salford City is in fact just basically Man United. Yeah, oh, true. Really? I can't even get away from that because it's the class of 92, isn't it? It just, it just yeah. is red, though, isn't it? Like, I just, I have to just accept it. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna entertain this in every single way possible. Trophies in Europe, in the league, by fans. Over the last ten years, Manchester United has been better than City in yeah, every single way. Every single better head to heads. Yeah. Like, bro, Manchester's red, and if you think it's blue, you're a nonce. We, we move. Next up, we have got. I mean, this is one's easy, but I've got to throw it in. Bristol, Bristol, red and white, or blue and white. So between, do you, do you even know the other team? It's Bristol City and Bristol Rovers, here? isn't it? Yeah. Do you know anything about Bristol Rovers? I know nothing about Bristol Rovers. Well, Bristol Rovers has never been a top flight, and unlike City, has been in the fifth year English football, and the highest ever league winners for a division. In comparison to Bristol City, who's beat them forty times. Okay, so it's definitely so, stacking up in Bristol City's favour, <laughs> I would say right now. I think the odds are certainly... <laughs> yeah. Certainly, the, the tide th is definitely turning in a certain <laughs> direction. It's, 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 minute, it's minute differentials here. It's not... It's kind of... It's, it's cool. It is. It, it's, it's... Yeah, it really is. It's fine lines. Fine. Bristol City, um, bigger stadium, uh, runners up in the first tier before in the history. Could won an FA Cup, the highest league um, in second division. But... In contention to Rovers, they, they have a better badge. Uh, but Bristol's red and white. Yeah, if you're a badge enthusiast, then <laughs> it's definitely Bristol Rovers. Okay, um, next up, um, let's go with Edinburgh. So, Hearts, Hearts and, and Hibs. Hibs. Do you know anything about Scotland? Um, I know that it's pretty cold there every now and like, <laughs> most of the time. I feel like they've always been quite even, though. I don't know. Maybe not. They have been quite even. To be fair, I, I'm going to surprise you. Right, here. okay. Both teams as beat big teams in Europe. For example, Hearts in Europe, they've beat Atletico Madrid, Bayern Munich, and Hibs. They've beat Barcelona, Napoli, Sporting Lisbon, and Liverpool in their history. Mad. And in fact, Hibs has been to a semi-final of the Champions League. Ooh, okay. Uh, head to heads, um, Hearts won more set to heads. Hearts were four first divisions trophies with eight Scottish Cups. When Hibs, they've in fact only got um, a massive, I must say, four first division trophies and only three. Um, cups. So oh, this is well marginal. It's, it's kind of half and yeah, half. Yeah. It's quite even. Well, I thought I thought it might be, but I don't know. Again, I don't know much football history, especially in Scotland, like before the seventies or anything like that. Trust me, I don't know yeah, either. Like, I just got this from Wikipedia. Okay, I don't want ever to think I'm like really smart. I'm really smart at football teams, and I know every single team. You definitely. This know took me ten me. minutes to research on Google. Hibs, so Hibs have gone further and been in Europe more often. Yeah, but have less Scottish Cups than Hearts. That's so marginal. Yeah, um, uh, Hearts has been in the quarter final of the Europa League. Um, that's probably the furthest he went. Wait, how many but times have they been in the Champions Cups. League, Hibs? Hibs? Was it just one time? I don't I don't know how many times, but I know that they've been... Uh, they've been to a semi-final of the Champions League before that's in, yeah, in their the history. That's probably more And they beat Barcelona though. and Liverpool as well. I'm going to say Hibs. I'm going to say Hibs because... Yeah. Scottish Cups, Scottish Cups, yes. But it's a European stage, and especially for Scotland. Like, no offence, the Scottish League was probably, like, very, very decent back then as well. But yeah, I think a Europe, just 
being marginally ahead in Europe compared to being marginally ahead in cup competitions is probably skewed more towards yeah. Europe. Because both have got the same level of first division trophies. They're both so sick. Both got yeah, like, yeah. You, if, if any of you are watching, you're both wavy. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a agree. Bam. I'm a agree, and I'll say Edinburgh is green and white. Sick. Let's go with what colour is Yorkshire? So, oh, teams in contention here is like Leeds, Sheffield, Wednesday, Sheffield United. And if you really want to go there, let's say Huddersfield and Hull. <laughs> if you really want to go um, there. No. Um, it's close. Now, I've got some stats. Yeah, hit, hit me with some here. stats, actually, on this one. Leeds has won three first divisions, one FA Cup and one League Cup. And they have been in a, they've been a runners-up in the Champions League. Mm. Sheffield Wednesday, for example, four first divisions, three FA Cups, one League Cup. And they've beat Barcelona and Roma. And they've spent an extra 2% of their entire history in top flight. I have no idea about that from Sheffield. Fair play, Sheffield Wednesday. It's really only Sheffield Wednesday in Leeds that can be in good contention. Now, fans-wise, I say Leeds for fans. Right, okay. Oh, man. But this is about a club. You know what? <clears throat> I, I, listen, in, if... Before I knew any of the stats, I was going to say Leeds. Because I think Leeds are just yeah. perceived as a big club. Because they were more yeah. recently a big club. Um, <clears throat> obviously they had like and they have been a runners up in a Champions League as well which yeah, is massive yeah exactly that's insane like they had and then yeah obviously there was like the, the 60s and 70s period which was sick and then obviously getting into Champions League in the early thousands and having so many good players then that came through the ranks and stuff but that's a wait how many how many first division trophies have they won Leeds has won three while Sheffield Wednesday won oh, four oh god I was hoping it was going to be more of a FA Cup one FA Cup for, we, for Leeds and three FA Cups for Sheffield Wednesday so there's not much like you know, between it, but it's still FA Cups wise. Oh god, I'm gonna get so much abuse if I say Leeds because of dirty Leeds. <laughs> but I actually quite like Leeds. Like there's just there's that certain you quite like Leeds, yeah. There's that certain housery about Leeds. I just can't help but respect it. Leeds was in all the semi final. They've been they've been in a few finals too fair. I'm gonna say Leeds. Kind of the you. You're gonna say Leeds. There you go. Suck it. I'm going to say I'm going to say Yorkshire is white. white. But okay. it, that's only because I just Fans. because I have that associate association with Leeds and I think most people do of them being just a bigger club because of more recently and also just because I want to annoy people. If I, Sheffield Wednesday do have a very good shout for being because they've won more. <laughs> but I'm saying Leeds. I'm sticking with my gut and I'm going to say sticking Yorkshire with Leeds. Is white. Okay. More, what are you Yorkshire saying? Yorkshire is white. Okay, okay, I, I can agree with that. So let's go with the East Midlands. Oh, okay, because I, 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 I did easy. Birmingham before. I did Birmingham before, because, you know, it's just really Villa and Birmingham. Mm -hmm. Of course, Villa's by far the bigger club, uh, so that's easy. East Midlands is really Nottingham Forest, Leicester, and Derby. Uh, for, Forest, really, with their. Uh, it's Forest. They've won two Champions Leagues. It's Forest. Two, it's it's Forest. It's it's Forest. Derby County clapped. Leicester City. Very cool story very recently, and I'm happy they won the Premier League, but in all history, clapped. Nottingham Forest are the Gs. So I mean, to be fair... You, no, I'm there's no fairness here. here. There no, is. no, no. I just want to give you a little stat here. Yeah, hit me. Derby's actually won more First Division. Than, for than Forest and Leicester, really? Yeah, Derby's won two, while Forest has only won one First Division, and Leicester, of course, only has won one Premier yeah, League. Yeah. I didn't realise that. Yeah, I thought Forest had more League... Titles, See, but just because you think they're good because they won two ch two puny Champions oh, Leagues oh, no, God. doesn't mean they're fantastic. It's just, a, it's just a glorified Carabao Cup, isn't it, realistically? But yeah, East Midlands is definitely red and white. Next up, I've, I'm going to have to do it to you, pal. Okay, and if you just want to speak on behalf of me, feel free. Yeah, you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm just throwing me under the bus. You know, you know what's coming, don't flat. you? The, these are opinions are mine and not representative <laughs> of the official visit channel. You know what's, you know what's coming. It's, it's Glasgow. Yeah. Uh, is it blue or green? <laughs> oh dear, oh no, now, I feel oh like... No. No, I feel like you may need, you may need some yeah, help hit, here. Hit me with the stats, so, and then I'm actually stats-wise. So head-to-heads in history, Rangers has won more by three. Um, Rangers has six more trophies. Um, mainly because of the Scottish League Cup, to be fair. Uh, but they've got more first division trophies. And in terms of Europe, Rangers they've won a Europa League or a European Winners Cup. But of course, Rangers dying in 2012 is a bit of a yikes. Not gonna lie. True. It's, it doesn't doesn't help them. Yes. Um, I hear that. Um, they beat European teams. They beat really is Inter Milan, Juventus, and Bayern Munich in history. Um, Celtic. 
they've won a European Cup. They've won a Champions League in their history, unlike Rangers. And they have never been below the first division, unlike Rangers. And they beat Barcelona twice, Inter Milan, AC Milan, Liverpool, Real Madrid, and has also made it to a UEFA Cup final, but lost. So, that's the stats of both Rangers and Celtics. Oh. So that's the stats you need to know. In recent years, it's definitely Celtic, but of course, Rangers yeah. kind of died. The, the problem is, I, so, I, I don't know. really want to factor in the Rangers' death, because that was purely just financial. That wasn't really... Yeah. It wasn't because they started performing badly. Yeah, and that, but it's important, because it kind of says... It, it's kind of the reason why they, they've fell so far behind of trophies, because Celtic exactly, has actually yeah, years yeah, with yeah. them so being you, down below. You almost need to... Yeah, you can't just factor out the last however many, I think, like six years, but... It's since 2013, I believe, it you, happened, or 12. You almost no, do no, 12, need 12, to kind 12. of just forget some of the more recent trophies with Celtic because they've had no competition with them at all, uh, to mostly. But, but it, it is impressive, though, to, to, to win three of the main trophies in Scotland, three years in a that row, is, sick. is the massive. Triple, the, the treble, triple, that is yeah, insane. The treble is mad. Scotland oh, or not, to God. have your team still playing that well week in, week out in all those competitions is nuts. This would actually be, re in, my, uh, in my head, this would actually be really easy if Ch if Celtic hadn't won the Champions League. I'd have chosen Rangers. Yeah. Um, but a whole Champions League. Um, Rangers did win a European. They, yeah, they won uh, the Europa UEFA League. Europa, Europa, Europa yeah. League, really. Ooh. It's a yikes, man. It's a, it's a, it's a close one. Like, it is, it is a close one. Um, I'm going to get death threats regardless of who I choose, so... Honestly, on Who's Twitch, when I'm live streaming, when people when people ask me, so I'll take a Rangers, I just say Air United. Yeah. Because I'm scared. Like, I'm going to lose half my viewership if I say anyone. So, let's just say Aberdeen and move on, I think. <laughs> I'm motherwell. Yeah. I really want to cop out, but I'm going to choose. Uh... I you know what, I'm gonna go first because you've gone first in yeah, most yeah, yeah, and on, I think on, I, I need to give my opinion here, Melly. For me oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Just saying as a disclaimer, please don't find out where I live. It's it it doesn't help out, please. Gonna go with Glasgow is I'm scared. Glasgow's blue. Ooh and that's so sick. That's that, I was That's not expecting there. that, you know. I was not expecting that. I thought you'd choose something. Hmm. See, right. It's just the more trophies, even with Celtic being so dominant for like eight years. That's the thing. Keep that, that in mind. That's the crucial thing. The fact they still have more trophies than Celtic, having been in lower divisions for like three or four years or whatever, and then not really being that competitive since then, apart from like right now. And Celtic have been able to win any trophy they like, pretty much. And they still don't have as many trophies as Rangers. Oh, that's a mad thing. But I always preferred Rangers to Celtic for some reason. Um, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know why. Like, I mean, no, no, yo, that calling kit when they both had calling oh, and a badge was iconic. sick, man. I like and, that. Like flipping Kenny Miller was playing for Rangers. Um, and that Japanese guy was oh, playing for Nakamura. Celtic. What's his name? Nakamura. Nakamura. He was, he was mad. I loved him, man. Um, that was just that, that was just like post Henrik Larsson era, that, which was why if I'd have experienced that, I'd have probably preferred Celtic because Henrik Larsson was a genius. So are you so are you saying Glasgow <clears> is blue, or are you thinking more green? Because you seem to be a bit more saucy on the green side. I am saucy on the green side. <laughs> I'm, I'm throwing you in the deep end, here, man. If I'm dying, you're, you're going down with me, bro. Yeah, you know what? Bun it. We're in this together. Yeah, no, nah, Glasgow is blue in it. Bun oh god. Okay. I hope to say green so that it's half and half, so that we we kind of please both sides. But no, we we're, we're done out. I, I feel really bad. I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. I think this is a tough one here. Um, Liverpool. <laughs> is it? <laughs> is it red or blue? It's white for Tranmere. I don't even want to discuss this one. As, as Liverpool. Tramier right? wins. Tramier wins. We move. We move. Next up, this is debatable. This is to do with me, and I left this out because I didn't. I was scared to talk about it. But Lancashire. So I don't know if you know about Lancashire. Of course. Like, what teams come to your mind? Do you even know what Lancashire is? Uh, yes. It's. But I, I sometimes course. get confused as to what teams are in Lancashire and what's in Yorkshire. No, so the teams maybe. that could be debatable here really is Burnley, Blackburn Rovers, and Preston. Those are the only real three teams that can be put in contention well, here to be in this list. 
Rochester's more Manchester, oh, okay. really. We move. It, it is Lancashire, kind of, but I think it's more Greater Manchester than, you yeah. know. But okay. Rochdale, if it was in Lancashire, would do everyone over and be... Yes, a thousand percent, it would be black and blue. Okay, give, oh. give me the give me the stats here, because I have something in mind, but obviously, again, I need to know. Right now, what is your mind thinking between Burnley, Blackburn Rovers, and Preston, of which team represents that Um What would you say? If we're looking ever, 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 Preston, because I swear they've won Bear Cups back, like, ages ago. But like they they recent not really really not really not what Preston really? has got two first divisions, two FA Cups, um, and also a invincible season back in like eighteen ninety yeah. eight or yeah. something mad like that. But they've not been in top flight since nineteen sixty one. Okay, fairs. Blackburn um, three first divisions and um, one including the, the Premier, League, Premier League, the actual Premier League back in ninety five. Six FA Cups, one League Cup, and the furthest the furthest they've been in Europe is the second round. Okay. Uh, Burnley, um, they actually are winning head to head between Burnley and Blackburn by four wins. Two first divisions, one FA Cup, and the furthest they went is the quarter, the quarter final of the European Cup. But I guess to go against my team, I'm a Burnley fan. Obviously, that's why I'm wearing, I'm wearing a Burnley shirt right now. <laughs> um, yeah, Burnley has been in Division 4. Unlike Blackburn, they've never been below Division 3 in the history. So, right. Those are, those are the facts. Those are the facts there, man. So. It's gonna, I don't, it's gonna I don't have say to be. It. You you don't want to say it, so I'm probably just gonna say it. I'm gonna say it's blue and white for Blackburn. Recently, oh, like, of course I'm Burnley fan. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't want to be saying that, man. As a bigger club, historically wise, I would say so. Yeah, I mean, I mean they've won more first divisions, more FA Cups. Like, it'd be, yeah. it'd be stupid of me to say it's different for when it comes to my own club, but when it comes to another team, you know, I think it's all about history. I'm not going to say you can my say it. My sincerest apologies. I, I, I can't. It's blue and white. For the, for the people at home. Just, just, to, just to really, just to emphasise, blue and white. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> the Black Country, West Brom, Wolves. I'm not even going to go into details. Just give me what do you think is the biggest Orange. team. Orange. It's Wolves. I don't, I don't. You think it's Wolves? Just, I, I don't care about West Brom at all. <laughs> I will say it time and time again. They can win as many trophies as they like in history. <laughs> wolves. <laughs> that's that's all so me. Um, honors wise, uh, Wolves do in fact beat West Brom. Um, since head to head, West Brom beats Wolves by eleven times. So it's just Wolves, isn't it? Just is it's Wolves. South East. There's a South West, which is Plymouth or Exeter. Shout us fun this one or what? Plymouth. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Just, uh, there's, there's, <laughs> there, I don't want anyone to feel offended. There's absolutely no reason for that. It, I just they just have a dark green kit and no one else really has that. Pie vibe. face. Pie so. face is the reason why I'm going for Plymouth. Okay, green army. There you <laughs> yeah, go. Bigger, well. bigger, bigger pie well, face. Yeah. Okay, so that is me and FNG slash Niren. You see who? Um, talking about which team represents each UK area. So by the way, if you don't like what we say, that's completely fine. Um, please make sure you're at it while you hate me. Subscribe and also like the video. Did you enjoy this experience or do you hate it? No, it was actually a great experience. I feel like I've learned a lot for a start. And also, yeah. but at the same time, the repercussions are going to be tremendous. So uh, <laughs> in it, it, until this video comes out, I've definitely enjoyed this experience. When I'm being shanked by Celtic fans, <laughs> probably not as much, but we move. If you guys enjoy, smash the like button, subscribe if you are new to me, and also the new one is linked down below in the description. Be easy on us. And um, I'll see you next time for another video, and peace out. Please don't kill me. Bye. <laughs>